Okay, Dave, so we went through a couple other decks. Now mm -hmm. we're at our cement deck here. Correct. So we're going to kind of show people what it takes to actually do mechanically attached system in a, in a concrete deck. Yes, that's easy I've, for you to say. I've seen it. I've seen Rhino Bond done a concrete deck. So here's our ISO. This is our mock roof deck. Here's mm -hmm. our sheet. So we're going to slide this back just to give everybody an idea what it is takes to drill in the concrete deck. Right. Now, I've got an inch and a half ISO. How, what is my penetration into a con structural concrete deck? Well, your, your fastener has to go in an inch. Inch. But you need to go like an inch and a half for all the spallings to fall out. So you got to make sure that it doesn't bind. So if you go at right at three inches, all the the brick dust, if you will, is going to you have to ream it out. Right. I mean, clear. if you go an inch here, you're you're not deep enough. You right. got to go an inch and a half inch into half. the concrete. If you go any more than that, you could spall the bottom out. So all these hammer drills have a depth gauge on them. Mm -hmm. So we've got this actually set at should be three inches. Three inches, my right depth gauge. Some guys take a piece of tape. Uh, sometimes you can get the right size bit so you know exactly just bottom the thing out depending right. on what you need. That never right. happens to me, but okay. So rather than drill through everything, let's just drill into the concrete. Just show them what it show looks like. Light. See the spallings? Spallings. Spallings. Yeah. I They're... call that brick dust, mortar dust. Well, okay, whatever you want to call it. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. Now when you put your screw in there with one inch embedment, you have some place for the grout to go, grunchies whatever you call it, mortar dust. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and drill this into the desk. Yeah. Okay, so you guys can imagine this. We got a little little bitty two by two mock-up deck here. Mm -hmm. A thousand square job, a hundred square job if you're doing mechanically attached. And God forbid you're doing a rhino bond job. And the building was built in 1910. You were probably there, weren't you? Well, I was in the vicinity, I'm sure. You ready? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna drill my hole for my... Did you see how he stopped when his... Depth finder hit the hit the roof. What size faster are we going to be using for this sheet, Dave? You can use two fasteners. Number one would be a number 14. The reason that I like the number 14 is it's it's a Phillips head. If you don't drill it deep enough and it bottoms out, you can back it out. Now the other one, the CD10, as you can see, is a fluted nail. So if I am putting this in and I don't go deep enough, now I have to basically get a sawzall and cut it out. Cut it off. Yeah. The 14 is is a lot easier, I think. Well, another thing to remember too is how many drill bits are guys gonna go through on any, a 50 square job? Oh, yeah. You're gonna break bits, you're gonna break screws. Now, if I if I try to put that screw in a break, I gotta drill the hole next to it. Mm -hmm. So, how many bids, how many? How do you bid how many bits you're gonna break? You don't know. You don't. All right, so we've got our, our fastener drilled. First All time. All there is to it. That didn't break, seated just perfect. So after all that, what else do you want to show the, show the people in the audience? Well, and like you said, 100, 100 squares, 1,000 squares, whatever, if I am doing mechanically attached, that is probably your cheapest, even though you have a lot, may have a lot of labor, you have a lot of drill bits going whichever way. But if you're doing this in the middle of summer and you're backed up, having your, your crew out here just doing this labor intensive day after day when that crew could be someplace else. Do you ever think about using low-rise foam? Uh, a little help here, son. Oh. Low-rise foam and insulation? Well, yeah, and another, we talked about taper packages on our other decks. Imagine if you had a taper package on a concrete oh, deck. That's Different size fasteners you're gonna have to use for that. Right, and then of course you may have to have longer bits too. And another year drilling, look at just this little bit, little brick dust I got in my seam. The and what happens? you're gonna have to do. Yes. The guy's gonna clean all the time? Who knows? We hope. Get low-rise foam. Mm -hmm. Fast, easy. Low-rise is expensive, yes, but you save labor. Now, could you come back and then fasten a sheet? Sure. Why would you? Yeah, I'd glue it. Glue or low-rise foam. Right. Or uh, fleece back. Fleece back and low-rise yeah. or bucket. Or solvent. Spray. Solvent base. Yeah.